and welcome to this new kind of style video where I give you a fun Python test and you try to creatively solve it. And there's going to be multiple ways to solve all these problems that I do in this series, but the reason why I'm starting them is because I found in the past that by doing these, I think about new ways to use different Python methods. And honestly, there's a reason why these are used in interview questions for uh, the computer science community. It because it shows how creative you can be in thinking on the fly and how creative you can be with a programming language. And that indicates your ability to be adaptable. So let's go ahead and jump into this problem. How is it structured? Well, <clears throat> as you might have guessed from the title, it goes something like this. Try to print off numbers 1 through 100 without actually using an integer at any point in the process. So in other words, your Python script cannot use any single digit, any number to accomplish this task. Now, there's a bunch of different ways this is solved for different programming languages like C. I looked up uh, if anyone had actually done this kind of interview question for Python before, and I hadn't seen anyone do that. So I'm gonna do kind of a simple answer, a really simple answer, and then show you a cool way you can be innovative and, uh, and do something a little different that you might not expect. So let's go ahead and if you want to, pause the video right now and try to solve this on your own. Try to print off integers one through 100 without using any um, any integers in your script. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. So I'm gonna say, uh, actually first I'm gonna make a string. We're gonna call it a string. It's gonna be equal to just any character that you might want. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna pick the character a. You can have it be a period if you want to, it's perfectly fine. And now I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna get the length of A. And now I think you should pause the video because you might be seeing how to start solving this problem. Notice how we've taken A underscore string, which is a string, and used its length to get an integer. Now, I would highly encourage you to now pause the video, stop right here, and think about how you might solve the problem going forward. Now that you're back, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and show you a simple way to solve this problem now. This is gonna be a little bit more cumbersome on the programmer, uh, but it's relatively simple. So we're gonna say B string is equal to A, and we're gonna just do this manually. A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got 10 A's, and I'm going to copy and paste that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that is ugly solution, an ugly solution to the problem, but it's a simple one, right? There's nothing elegant about it, but it solves the problem technically. Now, if this problem asked me to do that from one to, uh, you know, 10 million, this solution would not be practical. And I've accidentally done it one too many times. Print this off just to make sure I got two now and we can do that. Now we've got two integers that we needed for our problem. Now try to pause the video once again and see where I'm going with this. Okay, now that you're back, we're gonna convert these into new objects. So we're just gonna call this, let's call this A, and we're gonna call this B. And now what we're gonna say is for uh, I in range, and we're gonna say A, B, print I. And now you can see that we've gone from one down to 99. And if we just simply add one more character in there, we will be fine and we'll be one to 100. So that's how you can print off one to 100 without using any really complex uh, solutions and without using a single integer in your script. Now for a fun one that you might not expect. And I haven't seen this answer anywhere on the internet. So we're gonna do something that kind of pushes Python's limits a little bit. I have no idea if this would be considered cheating, but Captain Kirk cheated and everyone like that. So we're gonna just comment all this out. Let's get really creative now. I am gonna go all the way down and you might be seeing where I'm going with this already. And we're gonna just start writing a script up here. We're gonna say A is equal to A, just like we did before, A is equal to length of A. Now there's a better way to do that. I could have just done that around that, but we're not gonna worry about that. And now we're gonna say with open, you might be seeing where I'm going with this now, 100.py read. Yes, I'm opening up this Python script. We're going to read it as F, and we're going to say uh, lines is going to be equal to f.read lines, and we're going to grab the length of that. And then we're going to say 
for I in range. Uh, we're going to say A to lines now. Print off I. And if we execute this, we get the exact same thing. Uh, I did not know that you could actually open up a Python uh, file while actually running a Python file. I thought this was pretty, uh, pretty interesting. So I actually learned something new in the course of making this video and just trying out different things. Now, there's multiple ways to solve this problem. Uh, post your solutions in the comments down below. I thought this might be a fun exercise for different people to try different things. Remember, there's not one right solution to this problem. It's all about taking the problem and coming up with an innovative solution that you might not thought about. So my initial solution is kind of like the more common one. My innovative solution is this one. Come up with one that you think is innovative and, and share it with the community. That's going to be all for this video, though. Hopefully you found it kind of fun and witty. And uh, if you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe down below.